very good day to you all. Welcome to Modern Pumps and Valves. My name is Riya Sadwani and our guest tonight is Mr. Omar Balwa, a very well-known entrepreneur into the engineering field due to his contribution into mechanical seals industry globally. Welcome Mr. Balwa to our show. Thank you so much for having me on your show and uh, uh, to let you know that my association with Modern Pumps and Valves goes uh, way back in 1989 and hence it is my indeed pleasure to be on your show and to uh, discuss uh, mechanical seals. So my first question to you is, please tell us about Sealmatic's focus and innovations in the area of research and development and technologically advanced products. Mechanical seal being a very critical product, it is employed in uh, pumps, compressors and agitators, in oil and gas, refinery, chemical, petrochemical, power plants, both nuclear and thermal. So hence we can understand the critical role it plays in the efficiency of that equipment in a plant and also reducing downtime in case of a failure. Having said that, for any uh, company to succeed, there has to be a specific allocation of money for research and development, which unfortunately for a country like India uh, is always on the back seat. But we have taken a conscious decision to employ our resources, to deploy a certain amount of uh, our uh, uh, earnings for research and development. And I'm proud to state that we are the only company in the MSME segment which has been recognized by the Department of Science and Industrial Research, which comes under the Ministry of Science and Technology. And hence it's a big, big recognition. And we are the only company in our segment which has got this uh, distinction. Having done this, we are also uh, getting many more other certifications in place, such as the nuclear uh, certifications, uh, which plays a pivotal role in getting your products into a nuclear power plant, not only in India, but across the globe. And also, our in our products uh, are mission critical, and hence any downtime would be catastrophic in terms of an accident or, or a product loss which uh, goes in a leakage of exotic media. So, um, our innovation and our research and development is the key focus for Sealmatic. So sir, tell us about the importance of Indian market for Sealmatic. What are the opportunities in our country? India I mean, has come a long way uh, since the 1990s, ever since we opened up our economy. Uh, it is the third largest uh, economy in the world after you know USA, China and uh, Germany. Uh, hence, uh, no country or no company can ignore a market uh, which houses uh, one-sixth of the population. Over and above that, uh, Today we are a 3 trillion economy, our Honourable Prime Minister has a vision to take it to 5 trillion in the next 3 or 5 years time and hence uh, the Indian uh, industry or the Indian uh, business is very very important not only to us but I think globally for every player who matters. Sealmatic is a global player in the advanced sealing solutions. Sir, could you please tell us about your journey into the industry so far? Yes, my journey, if we uh, you know, talk about it, it is you know, split into various uh, you know, uh, periods. So when I started out as a young man of 22, I would rather say boy, in 1989, uh, I was an indigenous manufacturer of mechanical seals. Then my second phase uh, in this journey started with Bergman in 1993. And, that, and now in 2012, I am uh, with Sealmatic. The journey has been, of course, uh, uh, for any new startup, it has its own, uh, you know, challenges, has its own, you know, uh, problems. But uh, having overcome that, the journey has been very, very uh, satisfying, uh, fruitful. Today, we export to more than 45 countries across the globe. We are a leading player of, uh, you know, uh, mechanical seals, not only in India, uh, globally. We are um, approved vendor to OEMs such as BHL, KSB, ITT. Andrade's, Solzer, and uh, many other. We supply our products to uh, critical uh, installations uh, in Reliance, ISCL, BPCL, HPCL, Gale, NTPC, Nuclear Power. So that, that has been our journey and uh, we have been very, very successful and we look forward to uh, changing the demographic of the market share uh, in this industry. What are the industrial applications that are likely to drive mechanical seals industry into the Indian core sector towards sustainability and why? Yes, uh, it's an interesting question. Now, mechanical seals uh, per se are not a glamorous product but they 
play and havoc uh, in any industrial uh, installation. So if you are trying to sell a mechanical seal, you just cannot simply sell it without uh, the application know-how and the technology behind it. So uh, the critical industrial uh, installations would be pumps and compressors installed in any refinery, oil and gas, chemical, petrochemical. And that's the kind of you know uh, installation that we talk about when nobody wants to take a chance of employing a product which does not have a proven track record uh, or uh, a product which does not have uh, any kind of you know uh, sustainability, a product which cannot be backed up with service. So that's the kind of you know uh, journey and uh, the industry that we are talking about for mechanical seals. The global industrial pumps market is estimated to be approximately 70 billion today and is projected towards 90 billion by the end of 2025. What are your views on this? Yes, I think it will uh, exceed the estimation. Uh, it will even grow much uh, bigger. Uh, the reasons being uh, heavy spending on infrastructure, not only in India, but globally. So uh, for any, any country to be self-reliant, you need to have your oil and gas in place your refineries, your power plants. So there is going to be a massive investment uh, in this segment, which will of course require pumps. And if you require a pump, you require a mechanical seal. So we will be playing a pivotal role uh, in this growth uh, trajectory. Barring few companies, there are several companies that fall into MSME category. So what in your opinion are the major challenges faced by the MSME companies despite taking numerous initiatives? Yeah, I think I'll split this uh, question and answer in, uh, in segments. Uh, number one, uh, MSME is a very important segment for any country or for any economy when we talk about MSME. Say like for example, the middle stand uh, in, uh, in Germany. It, it is a backbone of Germany uh, without which Germany would exist as a powerhouse uh, in Europe. So similarly, uh, MSME uh, segment is very, very critical and important in India. It employs uh, 100 million people. It is the second largest employer after agriculture, and uh, it is a, one of the biggest uh, contributor to the you know vision of our honourable prime minister for making India to be a five trillion economy. Now, having said this, uh, the MSME segment uh, was on its own steam. It was running uh, for many many years. Uh, the government has taken now concerted efforts to, to uh, assist the MSME uh, segment. The RBI has uh, you know, come in, has uh, you know, uh, given uh, flexible uh, uh, you know, credit uh, periods, uh, reduced the uh, rate of interest. Uh, earlier, if you talk about MSME, you know, it would be any company uh, right from one man show to 100 employees and the challenges that uh, MSME is faced. Uh, in the earlier times <coughs> was lack of finance, uh, lack of technology, uh, lack of fiscal discipline. Uh, but with the technology and, uh, and the advancement of you know, uh, uh, the government's initiatives, um, MSME is now a focus. Uh, we have a separate uh, ministry at the center, which is the ministry of uh, MSME. So MSME, uh, according to me, plays an important role in the growth of any economy or any country. So what in your view can engineering companies learn from this pandemic crisis in terms of planning and preparedness? I think an uh, event of this kind is phenomenal. I mean you don't expect uh, it to happen. It just comes and uh, you know uh, takes over your entire life. And this is one incident uh, in my lifetime at least or if I may go and refer to history the last pandemic that we witnessed was in 1920. So exactly 100 years so hence, we have this uh, pandemic. So one cannot be prepared because every pandemic is different to the previous one. One lesson that we all have learned, I, I believe so, that we have started respecting our natural resources, we are respecting our environment, and uh, we all know that the planet is built uh, for a particular number of people. Today, uh, the human population is more than 8.5 billion. I think it far exceeds to what it was originally designed for. And uh, so that awareness, I think it has come. Uh, people have been uh, 
more grateful uh, towards uh, the Almighty uh, if He is listening to us. And uh, newer technologies were employed uh, during uh, uh, this pandemic to make sure that uh, there is uh, no disruption in business, uh, to make sure that there is a continuity and uh, people could uh, you know, work from remote uh, areas, work from home or work from uh, any other location that was safe for them. So uh, all in all, I think, uh, of course, the pandemic uh, was extremely painful uh, for people to go through it. But uh, um, if you take home one uh, singular point, I think we have learned a great lesson from this pandemic. And I hope it doesn't have a come for the next uh, millennium. So one last question. Where do you see Sealmatic in the next decade? Yeah, it would be fanciful to answer this question, but uh, yeah, I see Silmatic uh, not because it's a company that I have promoted, but because of its uh, inherent uh, strengths, uh, because of its you know uh, character, and uh, uh, because of its you know technology that it provides to its customers. Uh, as we enter the next year, uh, it would be you know coincidentally uh, the next ticket for us, and uh, we see uh, Silmatic uh, acquiring a good. Uh, amount of share in the market, not only in India, uh, but globally as well. And our major focus uh, for the next decade would be, uh, we would be heavily invested uh, on our uh, employees uh, because uh, without dedicated or competent employees, no organization has any, any worth. Uh, we would be investing uh, huge amounts of money into uh, technology. Uh, we would be um, uh, uh, having a greater partnership with a lot of transparency with our uh, vendors and other stakeholders and above all I mean we need to make our uh, shareholders happy by giving them continuous uh, profit which we have done so far and uh, I look forward to uh, this journey with Cinematic. Uh, I believe that is going to be great. So it was extremely informative and interesting talk with you on the different subjects. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking out time from a busy schedule and coming to our show. I wish we had more time on hand. Uh, there are so many aspects which uh, we could have you know, discussed for your viewers. Um, it was wonderful to be on your show. Thank you, sir. Wishing you good luck for your future endeavors. Thanks so very much.